Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here with me. For today, we are going to look into the United Nations Agenda of 2030. The Sustainable Development Goals, or Global Goals, are a collection of 17 interlinked objectives designed to serve as a shared blueprint for peace and prosperity for people in the planet now and into the future. The SDG was formally articulated and adopted in a United Nations General Assembly resolution called the 2030 Agenda or Agenda 2030. In this assembly, they voted to achieve most targeted goals by 2030. The International Monetary Fund has also taken the initiative to achieve the SDG by offering their support to developing countries. The Sustainable Development Goals are monitored by the United Nations High Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development, HLPF, which is an annual forum held under the United Nations Economic and Social Council. Here is a list of the 17 goals by HLPF No poverty, zero hunger, good health and well being, quality education, gender equality clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economy growth, industry innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequality, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, life on land, peace, justice, and strong institution, partnership for the goals. With each of those goals, they've established outcome and implementation targets. Let's take a look at a few. Number one, no poverty. Outcome target, the eradication of extreme poverty, the ownership to basic services, economic resources, and the building of resilience to environmental, economic, and social disasters. If you have the target implementation or the mobilization of resources, the establishment of poverty eradication policy frameworks. Goal number two, zero hunger. Outcome target, ending hunger and improving access to food, ending all forms of malnutrition, sustainable genetic diversity of seeds, cultivated plants, and farmed domestic animals. Implementation targets addressing trade restriction, food commodity markets, and their derivative. Goal number three, good health and well-being. Outcome target, reducing maternal mortality, achieving universal health coverage, support health workforce in developing countries, support research to access affordable vaccines and medicine. Goal number four, quality education, outcome target, elimination of all discrimination in education, universal literacy, numeracy, and education for sustainable development. Implementation target, expand higher education scholarships for developing countries and increase the supply of qualified teachers in developing countries. Goal number five, gender equality. The outcome targets, ensuring full participation of women in leadership and decision-making, ensuring access to universal reproductive rights and health. The implementation targets, promoting empowerment of women through technology, adopting and strengthening policies for gender equality, and supporting legislation to enforce it. Goal number six, clean water and sanitation, some of the outcome targets, and open defecation, improve water quality, wastewater treatment and safe reuse, protect and restore water-related ecosystem, some of the target implementation, expand water and sanitation support to developing countries, support local engagement in water and sanitation management. Goal number seven, affordable and clean energy. Outcome targets, universal access to modern energy, 
increase global percentage of renewable energy, double the improvement in energy efficiency, the implementation targets, investment in clean energy, expand and upgrade energy services for developing countries, focus on improving energy efficiency, international cooperation, and investment in clean energy infrastructures. Goal number eight, decent work and economy growth, outcome target, sustainable economic growth, diversify, innovate, and upgrade for economic productivity, promote youth employment, education, and training, promote beneficial and sustainable tourism, universal access to banking, insurance, and financial services. Target implementation, increase and for trade support, developing a global youth employment strategy. Goal number nine, industry, innovation, and infrastructures. Outcome target, increase access to financial services and market develop sustainable industrialization, develop sustainable, resilient, and inclusive infrastructures, Some of the target implementations are to facilitate sustainable infrastructures development for developing countries, to support domestic technology and industrial diversification, universal access to information and communication technology. Goal number 10, to reduce inequality outcome targets, adopt fiscal and social policies that promote equalities improve regulations of global financial market and institutions, enhance representation for developing countries and financial institutions. Some of the implementation targets are to encourage development assistance and investment in least developed countries to reduce transaction costs for migrant remittance. Goal number 11, sustainable cities and communities, outcome targets, Safe and affordable housing, reduction of the adverse effect of natural disasters, access to safe and inclusive green in public spaces. Target implementation, strong national and regional development, planning, implementation, implementing policies for inclusion, resource efficiency and disaster risk reduction in supporting least developed countries. Goal number 12. Responsible consumption and production, outcome targets, achieve the sustainable management and efficient use of natural resources, reducing by half the per capita globe food waste at the retail and consumer levels, recycling and reuse, encourage companies to adopt sustainable practices. Some of the target implementation or support developing countries to strengthen scientific and technological capacities, Remove market distortion. Encourage wasteful consumption. Goal number 13, climate action. Outcome targets. Integrate climate change measures into policies policies and planning. Build knowledge and capacity to meet climate change. Strengthen resilience and adaptive capacity to climate-related disasters. Implement Implementation target, implement the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, promote mechanism to raise capacity for planning and management. Goal number 14, life below water. Outcome target, reduce marine pollution, protect and restore ecosystems, reduce clean water acidification, conserve coastal and marine areas. Implementing target to support small-scale fishers, implement and enforce international sea law to reduce impact from marine plastic pollution. Goal number 15, life on land. Outcome target, conserve and restore terrestrial and freshwater ecosystem and deforestation and desertification, restore degraded land, ensure conservation of mountain ecosystem, protect biodiversity in natural habitats, eliminate trafficking of protected species, targeted implementation to increase financial resources to conserve and sustainably use ecosystem and biodiversity, finance sustainable forest management, 
combat global poaching and trafficking. Goal number 16, peace, justice, and strong institutions. Outcome target, reduce violence, combat organized crime, combat elicing financial and armed flaws, reduce corruption and bribery, provide universal legal identity, protect fundamental freedom. Targeted implementations, strengthen national institutions to prevent violence and combat crime and terrorism, promote and enforce non-discriminatory laws and policies. Goal number 17 is a vision for improved and more equitable trade as well as coordinate investment initiative to promote sustainable development access across borders. It is about strengthening and streamlining cooperation between nation states, both developed and developing, using the Sustainable Development Goal as a shared framework and a shared vision for defining that collaborative way forward. It seeks to promote international trade in an equitable trading system. This goal has 17 targets to be achieved by 2030, broken down into five categories, which are finances, technology, capacity building, trade, and systemic issues. Looking at the cost estimate for Agenda 2030, the UN estimate that for Africa, a yearly funding of $1.3 would be needed considering the population's growth to achieve their sustainable development goals. The IMF, International Monetary Fund, also estimate that $50 million may be needed to cover expenses of climate adaptation. $200 billion for providing clean water and sanitation for the whole population of all continents. In the year 2014, the United Nations goals was estimated at $2.5 trillion per year. By 2018, another estimate was found between 2.5 and 5 trillion per year. In the year 2017, the UN launched the Interagency Task Force on Financing for Development. In 2018, the top five sources of financial for development were real new sovereign debt, military expenditures, official increased sovereignty debt, Remittance from expats to developing countries, official development assistance. A meta-analyst published in 2022 found that there was scant evidence that government have substantially reallocating funding to implement the SDG, either for national or implementation or international cooperation. Let's look into the SDG-driven investment. The capital stewardship is expected to play a crucial part in the progressive advancement of the SDG agenda to shift the economic system towards sustainable investment by using the SDG framework across all access classes. In the respective years of 2017, 2018, and 2019, the World Pension Council held a series of ESG-focused discussions with pension board members and senior investment executives from across the G20 nations. Let us note that the G20, or Group of 20, is an intergovernmental forum comprising 19 countries and the European Union. It works to address major issues related to the global economy, such as international financial stability, climate change mitigation, and sustainable development. The member countries of are Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Mexico, South Korea, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Turkey, the United Kingdom, the United States, and the European Union. Many pension investment executives and board members confirmed they were in the process of adopting or development SDG informed investment processes with more ambitious investment government requirements, notably when it comes to climate action, gender equality, and social fairness. As of date, there are 193 countries that have adopted the 2030 Agenda in the year 2015. Some of these countries are the Commonwealth of Australia, 
the country of Nigeria, Lebanon, Syria, the United Kingdom, Panama, Ireland, France, Lithuania, Mongolia, Russian Federation, Ukraine, Algeria, Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, Ghana, Benin, Kenya, Republic of Tanzania, Congo, Zambia, Zimbabwe, New Guinea, Thailand, Vietnam, Iran, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Haiti, Brazil, Nicaragua, Argentina, Bolivia, Ecuador, to name a few. As of date, five countries have not presented a VNR. A VNR is the Voluntary National Review since the year 2016. These countries are Haiti, South Sudan, the United States of America, Myanmar, and the Yemen. Let us note that the VNR team for 2023 is accelerating the recovery from the coronavirus disease and the full implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development at all levels. Stay tuned for the upcoming video where we are going to debunk each of the goals of the SDG of the 2030 Agenda pertaining to the country of Haiti where we will analyze the past, the present, and the future events which aims to comply with the UN agenda. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the next.